What's up, man? It's your big brother, K Reno. Check it out, man. Um, real quick, wanted to talk about something, or basically someone that I want to uh, familiarize some of y'all with. Uh, many of you may already know who she is, but either way, I'm going to touch on it for a minute because this is somebody we need to be aware of their existence. But once we become aware of their existence, we need to make them as irrelevant in our minds as we possibly can. And that's a lady by the name of Candace Owens. And um, this lady is a black woman who basically has risen to notoriety, I guess coming up through the ranks of um, just being a black conservative and the other conservatives have clung on to clung on to her and took her under took her in as one of their own and because she has mastered the art and mastered the skill of tearing down black people tearing down her own people um, regardless of the cause regardless of the, the evidence the circumstances whatever the situation may be she is going to make the black person be wrong, period. That's what it is. She claims that she's for black people, but she's absolutely not. And she takes every opportunity that she can to drop the bomb on the heads of black folks, all under the, the, the guise of I'm for black people and I want what's best for them. She has some really negative and um, just, just filthy words to say about George Floyd. And um, I don't have to tell you who George Floyd is, but this woman has some filthy, horrible things to say about this man um, in the wake of his murder. I'll put the link down below and you'll find it, you know, she just rambles on and on, so you can skim through it and find the parts I'm speaking of. But she basically criminalized George Floyd, and her words were nothing but um, a on the cool, slick justification for him being murdered by the police officer, who she barely spoke about during her little, um, her little mouth running fest. So she goes down, running through George Floyd's um, rap sheet and, and his history, speaks about some of the uh, things that he had been incarcerated for, and talks about how she doesn't support him and he shouldn't be a martyr for black people. And it's almost like she's envious in a weird way. Like It's almost like in a weird way she's envious of the attention that George Floyd is getting after being murdered. It's like she like she jealous of it or something. It's weird. It's weird. That's that's my take on it. Because she just over and over again tears him down, tears his name down and talks about how we as black people shouldn't make him into some, um, I guess, righteous figure. Not focusing on the act itself that was carried out against him because what she's talking about and what happened to him are not related, not connected at all. Um, she talked about how black people have a habit of uplifting our criminals. Then she says that Jewish people don't do that. White people don't do that. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Number one, America was built by criminals. Not built by criminals. It was established by criminals 
built on the backs of slaves. That's as criminal as it get. It's one of your biggest criminals right here. He owns slaves and it don't get more criminal than that. That's the first president. The current president, he's as criminal as it gets. He's absolutely a criminal. And if you're a Trump supporter, let's go with the facts. If you're a Candace Owens supporter, go with the facts. Don't get mad at, 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 at uh, when somebody mentions Donald Trump's rap sheet, regardless if it may be um, something that was actually um, uh, charged and convicted for, the man is a criminal. So she speaks about black people uplifting their criminals. I remember Dylan Roof going in a church and killing nine people. And before you know it, white people had raised two billion dollars for his defense. Is that not uplifting criminals, murderers? So she either is stupid, uh, blindly ignorant, or she has 100% full understanding of what she's doing. See, what we have to understand is that anytime circumstances like this take place in America, uh, the government, the media, they hurry up and they find a black person who they control and they push them out in front of the cameras and the mics and make them speak contrary to what the rest of black America is thinking in some weird attempt that that will sway the minds of black people. They always got to put a um, sellout on TV to speak opposite what the majority of black people are thinking. And maybe that's maybe that's what she gets off to. She gets off to being a contrarian. But she's probably being paid by somebody. That's just the reality of it. She's probably being paid by somebody. And fixed her mouth to say that she doesn't support George Floyd and felt compelled to announce that. Like black people care what she thinks. See, and that is the point, is that I wonder if she sits around thinking that she really represents a voice for black people. And that she's a voice that black people lean on and depend on. I wonder if she thinks that she would probably be, she probably crazy enough to think that. She probably really think that we hang on every word she says. One thing I, I will give her, if she was thinking this, when this situation happened, I'm sure it was black people sitting around like, I wonder what this silly little girl gonna come out and say. You know, it crosses your mind. Like, you know they're coming. Because you know they're coming. You know that the sellouts are coming when something like this happens because they have to put somebody out there to try to change the narrative and switch and deflect attention from the real actual issue. This is what she's hired to do. It's what she does. And others like her do the same thing. Other black people. We don't care what you think. We don't. We anticipate you saying exactly what you said. I would be more suspicious if you came out and, and sided with how the majority of black people are thinking. And I know what you're thinking. Well, she's a free thinker. She doesn't have to feel the way everybody else. You're right. She don't have to feel if that's really how she feels. She don't really have to feel that way. But there's also a flip side to that 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 um, that process because 
just because an individual may happen to agree with the majority, that does not make them a sheep. It does not make them a follower. It does not make them program. That's the dumbest thing. In the world. We just all happen to agree. But her wake-up call is coming. She gonna get her moment the same way Stacy Dash and others got their moment. When the system of white supremacy, when she's no longer of any use to them, they'll toss her to the side. But make no mistake about it, Candace Owens does not represent black people. She claims that she's for black, no, she does not represent black people. Her views, the views expressed by Candace Owens are not the views of black people on the whole. And she's not dangerous to us, she's dangerous to herself. Because when they cut her loose, and they gonna do it, you can't make her believe that she's in full control. But she she really she she's like she's one of those people who present themselves in front of the camera like they're just so but behind the scenes she's insecure and miserable, man. And um it's sad. But I don't feel sorry for her because you choose to lay in that bed, then you gotta deal with the consequences of what happens when you get up, if you get up. So, I'll put the link down below. Y'all check it out. Much love to the homie Big Floyd. And um, may the worst come to the four officers that killed him. Peace.